Hey there, today we're replacing the serpentine belt on this 2018 Subaru Crosstrek, and this works for newer models as well that have the 2.0 liter engine. First, we're gonna remove the plastic belt guard. There's one bolt holding it on, and it has a 10 millimeter head if it's the original factory bolt. Once that bolt is out, the other side pops off. Now get a breaker bar or a long ratchet and a 17 millimeter socket. On some cars, you have to get a specialty serpentine belt tool for this job, but on this car, there's plenty of room, so you don't need that low profile bar. Make sure you push the socket all the way onto this hex head because you don't want it slipping off when you're halfway through pulling the belt off of one of the pulleys. As you're taking the belt off, you can take note of the belt routing, but on this vehicle, it's pretty straightforward. It's good to make sure that the belt you bought matches the one that came off the car, if you still have that belt. Hold them up like this and make sure one of them isn't a little more large than the other. While you have the belt off, this is the perfect time to check all your pulleys to make sure they're in good working order. You want to check for both excessive wobble and noise. On this tensioner pulley, because it doesn't drive anything, you want to make sure that it spins freely too, it doesn't have anything holding it back. Once you've confirmed that all of your pulleys are in good shape, you can now start to put the new belt on. Start with the bottom pulleys and work your way up to the top, leaving off the alternator. Once you've reached this point, put your breaker bar and socket through the belt like this, then turn the tensioner the way you did before. Work the belt onto that final pulley, and then make sure that you put the belt properly on all the grooved pulleys. Once you've confirmed that the belt is properly lined up with all the pulleys, go ahead and start the engine up, and make sure everything runs as normal. Alright, that looks good. We're going to shut this down and attach that belt guard, and we'll be all set. First, push the belt guard in. Then put the bolt in. It doesn't have to be too tight, just tight enough that it's not going to work its way out when the engine vibrates. The belt that I use today is a special looking belt, but it's not all that expensive compared to a normal belt. This exact belt actually did not show up as a direct fit for this 2018 Subaru Crosstrek, even though it clearly fits perfectly. In the description, I'll have a link to this exact belt that I used, as well as a few other belt options so you can decide for yourself which one you like, as well as a few of the tools that I used. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next Car Simplified video.